the heart tend to always win over the mind. So your customers care zero about your company, story, brand, and product. What they really care about is what it can do for them. So please don't resist it, embrace it. It's not about you or a company or the product you represent or the service. No matter how good they are, it's always about them. Customer always first. Let me share with you a little bit something that might help you here. According to Harvard professor Gerald Zoltman, that wrote the book, which I advise you to get, How Customers Think, Essential Insights into the Mind of the Market. That was the title. The professor states that consumers aren't as savvy as they tend to believe. Most consumers believe that they are making well-calculated purchasing decisions based on robust comparative mental analysis and the study of multiple available offers. The reality proves that there is a disconnect between most of these consumers' thoughts and feelings and how the purchase occurs in the absence of emotions. Quote. So, emotions drive our purchasing behaviors as well as our decision-making process. Most of the things we buy are subject to our unconscious urges that justify the purchase. People love to believe that they are more logical than emotional. After all, think of it. Logic reflects conscious, calculated decisions that were subject to rigorous mental evaluation and testing. At least that's how we see it. So rational, logical decision reflects smarts, some level of maturity, and certainly a lot of ingenuity. While emotion, if you think of it, really reflects raw, intuitive thinking that is primarily driven by gut feeling and primitive intellect. Naturally, we want to associate our decision-making process with our mental power and analytical capability, not with our primitive intellect. Our beliefs drive our action. When you purchase, for example, a, a, a watch, a Rolex, or a Mercedes, or a house in a beautiful neighborhood, your subconscious is seeking recognition from others that you have achieved some level of financial security that is really hard to attain by the majority of people. That's what it comes down to. So your self-worth and perceived social status get a boost for sure. You feel good about yourself and your accomplishment. Most of us do anyhow. People buy luxurious goods to demonstrate their economic ascension and success. That is the reason driving a Mercedes when you can drive a Honda Civic. Customers are driven by subconscious behavior seeking a state of emotional pleasure. And by the way, most product and services are created and marketed to serve customer desires and want. Desires and want are emotion over minds. And that's really important to think of. To win, target the heart. That's the key. In order for, for you to win, try to target the heart as much as possible. Your success in sales will depend on your ability to position your product and services in a way that targets your customer's emotion rather than their logic. By targeting your customer feeling, remember, you buy when it feels right. You sense it's right. That's how we buy things. Your customer emotion will hijack their intellect and their ego will find a way to justify the purchase using logic. Emotion always, always went over intellect. And the ego will always find a way to justify logically the purchase.
you feel good about you about, about the buying because overall it gives you good emotion and good feel right your product should always meet your customer needs and deliver its intended result that's key selling requires that you satisfy your customer needs and want so what needs mean needs mean the technical visual operational and job specification the project the product is supposed to do that's really what it is wants means all the intrinsic and extrinsic desires that the customer want to acquire by buying your product from you rather for, than from your competitor so remember needs are all the technical visual operational stuff and wants really at all the intrinsic and extrinsic desires so fact fact five i'm going to share with you five facts you cannot potentially ignore you cannot discount the fact that your customer buy with their heart and justify the they, they purchase with logic or their brain. You cannot ignore the power of fact, data, and statistics, statistics that give you, can give you an edge when overcoming the customer fear, doubt, and hesitation come into play. Some products sell well even in the absence of emotional appeal because they are either necessary, it's something you have to have, or provide the, the business with a competitive advantage. If you buy a product, you're gonna give you a huge edge, you will acquire it no matter what. If you have to acquire to buy bread, it's a necessity, you, you will buy it no matter what. Even if you have no emotional attraction towards it, you will buy it, because you need it. If your product and services have a technological, operational, maybe a structural advantage, you should ensure that the customer is aware of it. Oftentimes, we don't think about product from the customer's shoe. Hence, we only go with whatever we feel rather what they feel. And remember, it's, it's all about them. If you manage to become empath empathetic to their needs, you will find out and you'll be a little bit more aware what, what, what are they desire and want. And the last thing is customer have limited needs, but they have endless wants. Your ability to position your product well in your customer mind can really make a difference between selling your product or not. So think again about these five facts that I just cited. They're all important, they're all critical. Think always as the customer would think and I can assure you, if you always position heart over mind, you're gonna win. So thank you for watching.